Welcome to Word of the Day with Comedians. I'm your host, Deader Dennis Maller, and joining me today is comedian, actress, and all-around positivity ball of positivity and positive affirmations and wisdom, Mary Kennedy. What's going on, Mary? Hey, it's good to see you and hear you. It's, it's fun to be here. Thanks for being on the show today. I uh, uh, try to pick people who I know are both funny and I'm going to use the word loquacious, and I think I used that in the right context, and if I didn't you use did. it in the right context, it's because I went to six years of community college and didn't graduate, so. Yeah, and I was an English minor, so I'll help you. <laughs> I, I finally brought on somebody who knows more words than most of the other comedians that I bring in here. <laughs> oh, excellent. Yeah, well, I'm also going through menopause, so it could be interesting. <laughs> The word of the day for you is obsequious. Uh, and you know what? Here is the beauty of the internet. We have a pronouncer. Obsequious. Obsequious. So obsequious uh, is the word of the day. Obsequious means marked by or showing a fawning attentiveness. In other words, too eager to help or obey someone important. All right. I feel like... Uh, this word refers to most first year male comedians. Oh my God, yes, 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 yes. Fawning attentiveness. No, it kind of goes through their whole career, but sorry guys, love you. Um, but it's, <laughs> and men who are married to women who are menopausing. Too eager to help or obey someone important. So yeah, no, I, 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 I see that. You know what's interesting, and I know you're a male comic too. What I find interesting is that in the green room is where you see this a lot. I feel like in the green okay. room, you know, they just, it, it almost feels like a pissing match in the green room when there's a bunch of men and I'm like the only girl and I'm putting makeup on and they're like, it's like, guys, you're all good, relax, like stop. You know, and I'm, <laughs> and I'm married, so I want nothing to do with any of you so you can just comment. Yeah, I agree with you. <laughs> Oh, perfect. I, yeah, no, I, there's been uh, too many guys. Oh, well, I've worked uh, tech at a club here in Boston. Uh, used to, I say now, uh, because I don't. But the amount of people that would come up to me after a show and be like, thank you so much for having me. I loved being here. I can't, especially when we're doing, uh, what is that uh, sham of a festival? Uh, what do they call it? Oh, the World Series of Comedy. That uh, oh. thing. Uh, I, people... <laughs> oh, that one. Okay, yeah. Is that why I wasn't accepted? No, kidding. I didn't even apply. <laughs> I, didn't even I would apply. never. $50 to apply? I can't do it. And then pay my no. own way? No, Sorry. thank you. Also, one of the things that we do on the show is we find an interesting fun fact about our word. And our fun fact, did you know, brought to you by Miriam Webster, not a sponsor yet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> The fun did you know fact is, according to the origin of the word obsequious, an obsequious person is more likely to be a follower than a leader. So basically beta cucks. That's what this refers to. Uh, the word yes. comes from Latin sequi, S-E-Q-U-I, meaning to follow. And then the prefix ob means toward. So it means toward to follow or follow toward. Because I guess Latin, they, they that's one of those languages where... Uh, the words are reversed in their order compared to English. Yeah, but I'll tell you by being an English minor and I've taught uh, first and second grade, teaching the English language to anyone is impossible. It's really hard. It's the hardest <laughs> language. We do everything yeah. opposite of the rest of the world. Our words yeah. flow in in line, uh, whereas everybody else does it the opposite. We have a whole different measure. Certain, oh, they all want to drive on the left. F you, we're America. We're going to drive on the opposite right side, <laughs> even though we're going to call it the right. You call it the left. We're going to call it the right because why? We're Americans and we're right. Gall darn it. And then I just yeah. spit into. And a then we and head. then we get pissed at everybody else for doing it the wrong way. But anyway, teaching <laughs> teaching uh, sort of it's very hard. Teaching teaching English is a hard thing. But the fact you got through this word lovely, I, I give you an A plus for today. I think that was good. In fairness, yeah. the, the the adjective like I don't know that this word was an adjective until the reading it off the thing says adjective. I'm like, don't know what that means, but I got it. It's an adjective. <laughs> but you gotta understand, back back in the little house in prairie days with the one schoolhouse, they didn't have this. People didn't open this book and know that it was an adjective. Like we had to deduct and do reasoning. 
We failed as a country. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, let's go ahead and construct our sentence for the day. Oh, uh, and of course, every good sentence has a person it is about. So the subject of our sentence is going to be somebody who I'm going to call is, uh, is obsequious, which means uh, someone who's showing a fawning attention. So what is the name of a person? It doesn't have to be a proper noun. It could just be somebody like how someone who talks to a manager is a Karen. Who, uh, what is the name of a person who could be obsequious? Chad. A Chad. <laughs> okay, Chads. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like Chads are the alphas, right? Maybe? Like, I need someone that Chad would make fun Maybe. of at, like, uh, Hazing Week. Chad has totally been uh, beaten down on, um, is it a friend? No, Franks, are, uh, Franks are, are dudes with pickup trucks. Porter. Porter, yes. Porter. Porter sounds like he's like, I'll do anything for you guys if you'll just let me be part of your club. <laughs> All right, so the subject yeah. of our sentence will be Porter. What would Porter be doing uh, for someone to call him obsequious? Maybe he's a magician. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Porter's a magician. <laughs> and he does okay. magic every time that he gives in the beers because he's really trying to push the narrative. <laughs> All right, everybody, we have officially picked our word of the day. We have defined it and we have created a sentence using it in context. And to give you all of that is my guest, Mary Kennedy. The word of the day is obsequious and it means marked by or showing a fawning attentiveness. In other words, too <laughs> eager to help or obey someone important. And this is the sentence that we put together, proving himself to be a uh, I see. I can't pronounce it. Proving himself to be obsequious, <laughs> Porter would bring beers to the fraternity head Chad by sleight of hand to make himself stand out amongst the other pledges. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. All right, Thank everybody. You. We have officially expanded our own vocabulary by one more word. And thank you uh, to my guest, Mary Kennedy, for joining us and helping us out with this uh, comedian and English minor uh, and paper grader extraordinaire, Mary <laughs> Kennedy. Uh, and please tell everyone where they can find you. So if you want to find me, M. Kennedy Comedy, uh, which is all over the, the socials. And you guys can watch me on the show Shameless. That's streaming now on um, Showtime and Netflix. I was in season seven and I'm also in... Uh, the Shameless Hall of Shame final season. So, <laughs> yeah. Enjoy me. Perfect. I play an out of work prostitute. Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> that's just because your character wouldn't wear a mask. So, <laughs> yeah, that's it. No. Yeah. I, 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 you know, I worked for food like I do in my real life <laughs> as a parent. So, thank you. I'm excited to be here. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining me, Mary. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And remember to word up. Yes. <laughs>